Hello, thank you for coming back to my kitchen. You are very welcome. Today I'm making raspberry pavlova. It's a lovely summer dessert. Meringue on the bottom with fresh cream and raspberries on the top. Delicious. So first, you need to decide what plate you want to um, serve it on. It doesn't have to be round like mine. It can be square, oblong, whatever. And what we're going to do, I've got the baking tray that the meringue is going to be um, cooked on and you just put the plate on top and just draw round the plate and not round the top, round the bit where the meringue is going to sit. So that's what I've drawn, hope you can see that on camera and that will just get turned over and we'll be able to follow that. Um, underneath the paper when we come to the meringue. So set that aside and we'll start to whisk the meringues. So next we're going to separate the eggs but before we do we need to put the oven on. So the oven is going to be on and I'm going to have to read it today because I have had some requests for gas mark. So just bear with me while I read it all off for you. So the oven will be on 140 Celsius if you're electric 120 if you've got a fan oven, 275 if you're Fahrenheit, and that is gas mark one for those that have requested the gas mark. Right, now we can separate our eggs. Now I do this with two separate bowls. So we'll just gently crack half the egg. Hold it over the bowl and hope it doesn't split. There, perfect. So the yolk, the yellow yolk will go in that bowl. I'll get rid of the shell and the white will go in the main mixing bowl for our meringues. And this is the fourth egg. Oops. There. So four whites in the bowl and the oats will make an omelette for later. Next we're going to whisk the egg whites until they're frothy. Once they're frothy like this add half a teaspoon of salt and give another little whisk. So next we're going to add the sugar, but first we want the egg whites to be soft peaks. They're not quite there yet, so I'll whisk again. There, that's better. They're peaking, but the peak is folding over so you can see. In this bowl I have 8 ounces of caster sugar and we're just going to add that about a tablespoon at a time and whisk after each addition. There, so I think we're nearly there. Oh yes, that's a stiff peak. So when we've got to this stage, as you can see, unless I do a huge peak, that's folding over a little bit, but that's stiff. Just take a little piece between your finger and your thumb and run it between your finger and thumb. And if it's grainy, you'll need to whisk a little more because there'll be sugar left in there, which I do, just a minute or so, I'll need to do more. There, we'll try that again with the other finger and thumb. <laughs> That's fine. That's smoother. So once the egg whites are done, I'm just going to add four teaspoons of corn flour and I'm going to sieve these just in case there's any lumps. And two teaspoons of vinegar and half a teaspoon of vanilla. 
We'll just mix that all together. Now we need to get our tray back to put our meringue on. So next we're just going to pour all this lovely meringue mixture onto the baking tray in the middle. And scrape it all out. So we've got every last drop of meringue out of the bowl, we can start to shape the meringue. So all we're doing now is pushing it to the sides of the shape we can see that we drew earlier. So whatever shape you decided on for your bowl that you're going to serve it on, you'll be making that shape now. And if it starts to move about, just put a dot, push it down and that will hold the paper down for you. So when you've got to about your size that you need, just scoop out a little bit from the middle. Just pull it out to build up the edges and make a well in the middle and the well is going to contain all that lovely fresh cream and the raspberries. We don't want it too thin in the middle though, we still want meringue in the middle. And take a little time doing this because this is going to be how it looks at the end so worth spending time on it now. There that's perfect and that's going to go into the oven for an hour and a half. So now my meringue's had an hour and a half let's take it out and have a look. Doesn't it look delicious? <laughs> So we'll just leave it to cool on the tray um, until it's totally cool and then we'll come back and put the fresh cream and the raspberries in it. So now my meringue has cooled down, I'm going to do the cream. Um, this is half a pint or 300 millilitres of cream I'm going to whip up today. This is double cream. And we'll just whisk that up. Once that's quite stiff, we're going to sieve in one tablespoon of icing sugar, just to sweeten it a little. There, that's enough. So we'll set this aside and bring back the meringue. And we'll just slide this onto the plate. paper will just peel off from underneath. They're perfect. So I split my raspberries. I have two thirds in this bowl for the top and a third in this bowl I'm going to put in the cream and just give them a stir. Just so there's a little bit of fruit in the cream already. And they give a nice little ripple effect when they break up. Now for the big moment. <laughs> the cream goes into the pavlova. So just spoon it all in. And we'll scrape the bowl out so we get all the cream. There. Spread it. So that well in the middle is all filled with the cream with the raspberries in. There, perfect. All that remains to do is put our raspberries on the top. I just put these on randomly. Pavlova isn't something that's supposed to be too perfect, really. Perfect. So we've just enough time for the taste test. Look at this. Would you like a spoon? <laughs> it looks delicious, doesn't it? Let's have a piece from the back. A piece of cream, raspberry and meringue. Mm. 
Mm. Going in for another piece. Mm. It really is delicious. All the meringue underneath, it's a chewy meringue. It's not a dry meringue. It's chewy and sticky. Oh, it's delicious. Anyway, thank you for watching today and I hope you enjoy the pavlova. Thumbs up if you'd like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you again next week.